So this is my first book of many that I plan to crack, clean press, submit, try to get a grade bump. And I thought this was just as good a place as any. It's not a book with a ton of value, but it's one of my wall books, and I would certainly prefer to have better than a 9.0 if I can get it. So I looked this book over, and it definitely has some pressable flaws on it. So we'll just go over that real quick. And that's kind of the way I'll do every uh, video I do in this little series here. I've got about a handful of books. These are, I almost call them practice books. They're not $10,000 books, but they're not nothing books either. So it's definitely worth our time to try and get a grade bump. Even if I'm not gaining a bunch of value, I'm not trying to flip these books. These are my personal books. I think we can hit 9.4 on this. I don't think we can get 9.6, although it wouldn't be crazy. But I think 9.4 is a solid target. But I, I mean, if I go through this process and it's not that involved, certainly happy with a 9.2, right? If it comes back a 9.0, well, we'll learn why and we'll figure it out and know something for the future going forward. So we'll go ahead and get started. And the first step is getting this book out of this slab. So it's always a lot easier to see it once it's outside the slab, but you can definitely see those bends still in the spine here. Pretty moderate, I mean, I could see this book being an 8.5 just because of that. So, and there's a couple thumb bends here you can see. And just minor overall just handling wear. I can just lightly see it. All of this stuff is just easily pressable. Corners look fairly good, not perfectly sharp. But definitely 9.4 good enough. There's some, I would say, one, two, three, four light color breaks, five color breaks on the spine. Certainly allowable in a 9.4, which is kind of our target here. And the back spine looks just pretty much the same. It's beat up pretty good with spine ticks, but it is a white spine, so I should be able to clean that up, make that infinitely better. Uh, the light soiling here may not show up that well. Let's see if I can get it in the light. You might be able to see it right there, just along, right along here. Definitely some light color of dirt. I'm not sure what that is, but there is some general dinginess to the back here. And I can certainly clean that up in, in 15 or 20 minutes and make it look really, really good. Now, there is actually a slight off-whiteness to this. I mean, just ever so slightly. I may put just the cover in the light box. Now, this got white pages, so that's very interesting because let's, let's take a look at the interior pages here. Of course, there's the, the archival paper in here. We'll get that out of there. And uh, so, yeah, these, this, these pages are more off-white than I thought you could get with white pages. So that's interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I sent this book, and I'm not going to whiten this book because it already got white pages. But I wouldn't be surprised if it came back off-white. Wouldn't that be a kick? It came back 9.2 or 4 with off-white to white pages. Um, but I, would, I wouldn't lose sleep over it. So, yeah, the cleaning process will be easy. Maybe a couple hours of whitening, but then I think basically just work the spine with a tack iron a little bit. That'll take 10 minutes. Throw it in the press for three hours, see what it looks like. And then if everything looks good, man, we'll, we'll hit it for a final press. I might be able to finish this book in a day and a half and move on to the next one. So next stage here is we'll do the cleaning process. I'm not going to go into any detail. You know, I did my video if you want to search my channel for Star Wars 42 where I did a lot more involved on how I clean books, but I'll show a little bit of that here in kind of a B-roll, and uh, then we'll move on to the rest of the video.
basically it took me 30 minutes to do the front and the back cover thoroughly. There probably is a little bit of something on here, but it would take magnification or hitting different angles to see it. And if you can just take a look, you remember there was some soiling right along here. And that is all gone. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the light box just for one treatment. So a total of three hours and we'll see what this back cover looks like. So let's carry this thing over to the light box. Hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> and uh, stick our lights here up on top. And yeah, if you're interested, this is Captain Mike's process. If you want to check out his books, it's Captain with a K. Mike, M-Y-K-E. I'll put a link in the description on that. But yeah, we'll get these lights turned on. I'll put, I'll set the uh, timer for one and a half hours and we'll, then we'll do the next round. Let's go ahead and flip these switches. All right, isn't that cool? So the book is in there. I'm just doing the cover. So yeah, we'll talk to you here in an hour and a half. This has been an hour and a half. Time to turn these lights off. And do another hour and a half. But let's just take a quick look. I just wanted to add this to the video. Just see if there's a noticeable difference after an hour and a half. And let's see what we got. You be the judge. Does that look a little bit wider to you? I think it might. I think we're already got, we've already gotten somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and do the full three hours, though. And we'll just roll with it. We'll, of course, have before and after pictures at the end and all that good stuff. <laughs> Just so we'll be able to do a comparison on actually if it is a little bit wider. So yeah, going to continue on. So the whitening process is done. And man, does this thing look sharp. Look at these colors. Look at the uh, whiteness of the Wolverine there and then the back. Look how white that is. So that's the next step. Is now that I've whitened it, cleaned it, we're going to put it in the press. Uh, normally I would do just a three hour initially. And then we do you know our spine work and all that stuff. But it's late in the day now. I'm just going to... You know, do a press on it and just in the morning we'll uh, continue on. So it might get like a, you know, 12 hour press or something like that, which is fine. Um, so the next step is see how it looks after that initial press. Take care of any issues, tack work, you know, with a tack iron on the spine, anywhere on the cover that needs maybe, you know, if there's some pitting, we might hit it with a ball bearing a little bit. Some, any extreme stuff that we think won't come out with a press or without an immense number of presses. We hit it with the ball bearing, and that kind of speeds up the process on that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the press here, and uh, we'll see what we look like in the morning. All right, so the book is in the press here. Yeah, so we'll continue on in the morning. So it's been in the press here overnight. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Move our sandwich over here to the table and take a look. Okay, it's pretty dang good from here. See what we got. Yeah, it took care of a lot of the ticks there. Nice and flat for the most part. Still could use a final press, of course. Yeah, I think the thumb impression is gone that was there. Yeah, this book looks great. 
Still got a slight waviness here on the spine. We can take care of that. Back looks amazing. Those, a lot of those spine ticks are cleaned up already. So I'm going to take the tack iron to these here in a minute and finish that off. This book looks almost ready for prime time. So just looking at it, the lighting is not perfect, but you can see in the light over here how good that looks with the whitening. Maybe it's not as dramatic as some other books, but it is definitely slightly wider. I can tell that at least. So I'm going to get the sandwich taken apart here, and we'll go ahead and I'll do my slight little bit of tack work I have to do, assess it, and then we'll throw it in the press for the final time. We'll leave it in there at least 12 hours, maybe 12 hours, and then move it to the cold press. Let me set up the camera for the next phase here, and we'll get going. So it's loaded back in the press for the final press here, hopefully the final press. So I'm just going to stick the final backing board here on top, carefully. Can't really do that one-handed, so I'm going to adjust that here in a second. I'll put the top down, and we'll get going. So the lid is shut. Time to turn the machine on. Now we let it heat up to the required temperature, which varies by era. But yeah, we're going to let it heat up here. Then you basically just hit this button here. Once it heats up and it will start the timer automatically, I'm going to do 15 minutes and we're going to shut it off. We'll leave it in overnight and we hopefully will be all done when we take it out. So let's go ahead and take it out see where we're at and whether we need to continue any further with this book besides a cold press. What do you think? How's it look? Have no bends in the spine. You still have the color breaks, but no bends. There's no thumb print bends or whatever you want to call them. The cover looks whiter in the white areas. Definitely really pops at you now when you look at it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That is one awesome cover. They used to use this cover back in the 80s, I believe, as an advertisement for upcoming books. I, I remember seeing this book specifically um, <laughs> uh, showcased in a lot of ads. I mean, how great is that, though? It's definitely going back on my wall once we get it back from CGC. So, yeah, I don't see anything going on in the front cover, so the front cover is done. Let's take a look at the back, make sure nothing crazy is going on. Looking good. Let's take a look at the spine. Yeah, that spine looks awesome. You can faintly see where the color breaks would be if this were a darker co cover, but you have to really hit it just right in the light to see it. Otherwise, the ticks are all gone. There are no ticks left on that spine. There's no pitting, no thumbprints, no bends. I'm not seeing anything on this cover. So it looks like we are ready to put this in the cold press and then a week or so when it's time to send it off I'll reevaluate it again see if there's any reversion and if there's not on any of the books we'll uh, send them off for grading. Uh, we'll continue on here once we get it back we'll do the reveal. Okay the book is back from CGC and let's find out what grade we got. Now we were hoping for as high as a 9.2 or 4 on this book. You know, it started as a 9.0. And just so you know, I've already unboxed these in a separate video. And if you want to check that out, you can do so. You can see all five books in this submission that I did. All these crack and presses and resubmissions. But if you want to wait for the entire series to be on, this should be like the second video. If you want to wait till all five are done before you go back and watch that unboxing, that's fine as well. 
you don't want to spoil it. But without further ado, let's see what grade we got on this Wolverine number two. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. An amazing 9.6, turning this 9.0 into this beautiful 9.6 is just amazing to me. I'm extremely, extremely happy. Not happy about the Newton rings, but very, very happy with the grade on this book. And I think it's appropriate. I looked this book over again, and I had it. I thought 9.4 was the cap. And, you know, I'm a conservative grader, so I could see somebody giving this a 9.6. But once again, this is a PC book. This is the only copy I have. This will be going on the wall. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.